In this video, we are going to discuss about sampling frequency related problem. So, here you can observe the problem sampling frequency of sin 100 pi t plus cos 200 pi t is they are given some combination of sampling frequencies. What they are just asking is this is a signal sin 100 pi t plus cos 200 pi t is a signal. So, if you want to sample that signal what may be your sampling frequency. So, for example, if you consider a sampling frequency, so by that sampling frequency if you are uh, sample if you are going to sample your signal after sampling pro process you need to reconstruct your signal perfectly like that you need to consider your uh, sa uh, sampling frequency. So, uh, how much will be that type of frequency, how much frequency you need to consider as sampling frequency to sample this signal and to reconstruct back this is the meaning of this question. First of all the given message signal I am considering like x of t and I am writing this x of t as sin 100 pi t. So, this is sin 100 pi t plus cos 200 pi t this is my message signal. So, this message signal by observing the signal itself we can say it is uh, having more frequency components that means it is having multiple frequency components. So, here how we can find that message component, message frequency component means. So, here we need to find out the individual uh, frequency components and maximum of that will work as a frequency component of message signal. So, generally what they are asking is sampling frequency. You know that so sampling frequency must be greater than or equivalent to 2 fm. The minimum sampling frequency is fs is equivalent to at least equivalent to 2 fm you need to consider. So, greater than 2 fm any value is uh, advisable to get perfect sampled signal and to uh, recover your message signal again. So, here to get fs you need 2 fm that means fm value, but you are not given with any fm value here they just given signal directly. From this signal you need to calculate fm. How you can get fm means here you are having two frequency component in that two frequency component which component will be message component that we need to see. So, here I am considering a calculation of first frequency component I am just comparing with sin omega t. So, omega 1 is equivalent to 100 pi. So, 2 pi f is equivalent to 2 pi f 1 is equivalent to 100 pi. So, this is equivalent to 50 times. So, f 1 is equivalent to 50 heads. The first frequency component in this signal in the message signal is equivalent to 50 heads. Now, coming to second frequency component that can be calculated like this I am considering like omega 2 I am just comparing with cos omega t. So, 2 pi f 2 is equivalent to 200 pi. So, here 2 pi 100 times will go. So, f 2 is equivalent to 100 heads. Now, you can calculate f m the message frequency component is the maximum frequency component in the combination of frequency components in the message. So, that means f m is equivalent to you are having a formula maximum of f 1 comma f 2 comma so on. For example, if you are having more components. So, here you are having two components. So, maximum of 50 comma 100 means in 50 heads and 100 heads the maximum frequency is 100 heads. This will become the frequency component of message, message frequency. This can be considered as message frequency. Now, you are having your message frequency in your hand then this is the time to calculate sampling frequency. So, I am substituting in that f s is equivalent to 2 f m. So, if f s is equivalent to 2 f m, so I am multiplying with this 100 h then you are going to get 200 h as your f s you can see. So, in the options they given 200, 300, 400 like this. So, whenever they are giving just what is the sampling frequency you can take 300 also you can take 400 also when this type of problems are given in technical exams you need to consider options like Nyquist frequency that is it. So, in, in uh, in previous days they are not used to give like this that means uh, they are specifying what is the minimum sampling frequency or what is the minimum 
um, sampling prime frequency or what may be the Nyquist state like that they are asking. For example, if they are not, not asking like that, they are just asking sampling frequency also, you can take minimum sampling frequency. So, this 200 hertz Nyquist rate, you need to consider to sample this signal, this message signal, to sample this message signal without any distortion, the signal frequency, sampling prime frequency that you need to consider that must be 200 hertz at least. So, at most that may be anything, you can take so much, uh, that means Fs for example, if you consider so much greater than 2 Fm, what will happens means, so the data rate is going to waste, that means, so if you are using more than enough, then definitely your data bits are going to exceed, you are going to, uh, your, your data is converting into more number of bits it will take more data rate to transfer more number of bits, it will take more cost to transfer more number of bits. So, our wish is to transfer our message, for that whatever required up to that we will take, more than that not required. If you consider more than that, you can transfer perfectly, but your data rate is going to waste, you are, you are used to uh, send, you are going to send more number of bits in the transmission. So, only because of that uh, considering your Fs is so so greater than 2 Fm, that means Fs is, is equivalent to 2 Fm is enough, Fs is greater than 2 Fm is better. If you consider Fs greater than greater than 2 Fm, if you consider like this also you will get perfectly, but it is waste of time and cost. So, why because your frequency is going to increase and uh, you, uh, you are getting more bits in transmission, cost may be high, if you are having more bits conversion time will be high. So, like that you may have so many problems at uh, transmission, so that is why these two conditions are enough, if they are asking what is the Nyquist rate then you can use this or if they are not giving any rate like this then you can then also you can use this condition fs is equivalent to 2 fm so that's why nyquist condition is very very important in sampling at least you need to follow nyquist rate to recover your signal back perfectly